Element a Day in May. Welcome to Element a Day in May. This is our last day of Star Stuff Week, and I have a very special guest calling in today to talk about an element you might be surprised to find during this week. Please welcome a gentleman who considers himself to be a student of all sciences, Dr. Emmett Brown. Oh, thank you, Jesse, for having me on the show. Great, Scott. Can you hear me? Yes, you are coming in loud and clear. I seem to have found myself in a timeline in which cell phones never existed, and everyone communicates with large styrofoam cups and miles and miles of string. Oh, I see. Doc Brown here with some facts that are more shocking than 1.21 gigawatts. Yeah, tell us a little bit about today's element. I thought it was necessary to talk to you about plutonium this week, as it could be a very important element for the future. How many people think... Plutonium is a synthetic element, and we only have created it here on Earth for making bombs and fueling time-traveling cars. But that's simply not true. Well, I really appreciate you bringing that up. That is exactly right. Plutonium might be very, very rare to find, but it's a naturally occurring element in the universe, and it's made in a couple different ways. One... The element uranium, which people say is the heaviest naturally occurring element on our planet, with 92 protons, is not a stable element. And when it decays, plutonium is created as a byproduct of this decay. Secondly, there's an event that can happen in space more crazy than a supernova, and that's a kilonova. And if you see one, you may just keel on over. Basically, it's a catastrophic explosion, resulting in the fusion and synthesis of elements heavier than what are normally made in nuclear star activity. And as my friend Marty might say, that is heavy indeed. Oh, yeah, I get it, because he's from a different time. So where are you headed after this? Back to the DeLorean. I'm on the hunt to find Biff, who I think is disguising himself as Donald Trump, and I have to stop him before people put him into the White House. Ooh, I'm, I'm so sorry to tell you this, Doc, but you're a little too late on that one. What? I, I'm too late? Why are people so stupid? That's it. I'm going back to substitute teaching. This is Doc Emmett Brown. Make sure to click and subscribe. What's this called? Oh, it's called Everyday Science. You know, in the future, social media is just a collection of robots that go from door to door to tell people what you're up to and take pictures of your food. Well, that's fascinating. Great, Scott! Oh, what's up, Doc? Did I ever tell you about the time I met the caveman who invented social media? No, I don't think you mentioned that one before. Yes, he, he trained a pterodactyl to squawk his daily updates, and he would call it Oogoog! Naka Naka, which loosely translates to tweeting. That is super fascinating. And you can find me on Twitter at Jesse Science or at Everyday Sci TV. And the link to the fabulous voice of Dr. Emmett Brown calling in to talk about plutonium for Element a Day in May today is in the description below. Stay tuned, everyone. Tomorrow is the start of Edible Elements Week and the last four days of May. Thank you so much for listening and subscribe for science. Element a day in May.